Folks, welcome to Best Stock Charts for the New Trading Week. This is Bob Desmond, and what we're going to talk about this week are, how was our week last week? One, two, what stocks do we like moving into the new trading week? And to kick things off, I want to talk about tomorrow night, Sunday night, Sunday Night Futures Live. And what we're going to be talking about in particular tomorrow night on Sunday Night Futures Live, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, are, yes, the opening price action of the futures We'll be talking about the uh, economic data coming out this coming week. And for members, if you're watching this, I already posted the week ahead commentary in the members area. Go check it out. But the two charts I'm going to want to really hone in on, and there's probably going to be more, are the reasons why I want to look to lean to the short side of this market. We do have a hedge on our positions, yet we are still net long of the market. Favoring more so now emerging markets, uh, commodities, gold stocks. We started rebuilding uh, the week before last. And the reason why it can be summed up in two charts. This one here, I want to go over this in greater detail with the meaning of what this means and what the outcome is once we revert to the norms. But this is the M2 money supply. And did you know that 21% of all dollars in existence right here, right now, were printed in 2020. So you may be asking, where's the hyperinflation? This blue line is telling you the reason why. We're going to talk about this tomorrow night. And the reason why you need to be looking at gold, silver, the miners right here, right now. And the reason why you need to start looking to the short side, not right now, Seasonally strong period of time. We're going to remain net long for now, but we're going to be positioning ourselves to the short side, probably net short going into 2021, give or take a few weeks. So this chart here is the call options volume. And you could see that the amount of optimism vis-a-vis -vis the purchase of call options is completely insane. The put-call ratio is so completely broken, I can't put it into words. In short, we have a market that is extremely overbought in terms of valuation, not necessarily technically per se, but in terms of valuation, we're very overbought, very expensive, and the level of complacency out there is unsustainable. All we need now is a pin to bust that bubble. So join us tomorrow night, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Link below. Enter your email address in only one of multiple areas where you can enter your email address. If you want the five most powerful candlesticks tutorial I put out, enter your email address once, and you'll still get alerted 15 minutes prior to us going live tomorrow night. Otherwise... Uh, click the bell button, subscribe to the channel, and you'll get notified when we go live. Don't forget to leave a comment after you get done watching me now. Uh, our week last week was good. We, we did very, very well with our emerging market trades. We did very, very well with our gold mining trade, which we sold most of several weeks ago before the big sell-off. We began buying back the week before last, right at the lows of the week. The GDXJ with a 47 handle, right at, right at the lows of the week. Uh, we sold Facebook for profit this past week. I didn't want to sell it, but the price action was doing poorly. Plus, they are being now sued for discrimination by the DOJ. And I'm glad I did because Friday it pulled back. So it will remain long right now, but we are building short positions. So more to come there. So the first stock I want to go over using TrendSpider, they're a sponsor, link below, 35% off, is Twilio. And in the members area, I'll have posted the price target entry point at which we're going to want to look to get long of Twilio. So what we're doing right now is I'm going to set up an alert here. I want to get notified. This is a weekly chart, Twilio. I just want to get notified if we retest support. And we'll keep it active for the week. Let's reduce sensitivity a bit. So Twilio last week, it, done, it broke out the prior week. Last week, we did a retest of the breakout point. 
Very solid week. We're going to be looking to buy. Daily chart. Daily chart looking very good. I'm not going to be the least bit surprised to see a breakout on Monday. So I want to get notified of a breakout on Twilio above resistance. Trend Spider will alert me. I'm good to go here. So I have two alerts set. I want to get notified down here at support if, in fact, we pull back. And or if we break out, then I want to either open a position or add to a position on a successful breakout. So Twilio looking very, very good. And yes, this is the number one question I'm asked. Do I send out alerts? Yes, we send out alerts on the buy when we add more and when we sell. Always 100% alerts are sent. So the next chart up is BR. This is a financial, Broad Ridge Financial. Weekly chart. Now here's the value of automated trend lines. You pull up your weekly chart, you click a button, and by doing so, you know you have resistance above. So I think that this is going to be fairly resistance to break out of. Why? It's because we kind of already did break out last week above resistance. So I think that we will get a continuation breakout here. I would want to test the position, meaning I would only want to put on a small position, then add on the breakout if I'm right. That way, if I have to stop out, it's a very small loss. I don't have to worry. I'm not going to lose sleep about it. So we have a alert that could be set here. I want to get notified if we break through. And we'll keep it active for the week. And there we go. Set it and forget it. RSI looking very good. In fact, I would like to know if we happen to pull back and retest the support level, the breakout point, yet again. You don't know. Maybe Monday morning it'll be a rocky morning for the markets. And that'll be an opportunity to open up a trade at a support level where our risk-reward is very favorable. And then if we happen to break out, then we can add more to that trade. And there we go. Our weekly alerts are set off, set up, I should say. Now look at the daily chart here. Again, the power of automated trend lines, folks. There you go. Click of a button. You can see that we broke out. So I'm going to set up a third alert here. It's not as significant of an alert. I want to keep sensitivity very low. And I want to get notified if we break through, touch, or bounce. Because if we break through, then I'll stay aware of whether or not we are at or near this lower band of support. This is not an exact science. So that's like an early warning indicator. We may just pull back, retest daily support, and then proceed up higher. So a very good-looking chart. We're very bullish. RSI broke out, confirming the breakout on price. Good stuff. The last chart up is going to be ISRG, Intuitive Sur Surgical. And go to the weekly chart. And you can see that we have a very nice breakout. Very nice. We are not at all-time highs, but we are close. So what we'd be looking for here is one of two things. One, simply a breakout. And two, there's our alert set. And two, do we pull back and retest the weekly breakout point? Again, this is my favorite risk-reward entry point. Having a retest. We'll keep some sensitivity on there. And there you go. Weekly setups are in place, meaning alerts. Daily chart, beautiful day on Friday. RSI is rising. Nothing not to like here. So, in short, we remain bullish on the market. Uh, I believe that as each passing day goes by, the market becomes far more riskier because we are on very, very thin ice. And whatever is going to be the straw that breaks the camel's back, the downside is just going to be horrific. That doesn't mean there's not going to be money to be made. There's going to be a ton of money to be made. But you need to be positioned accordingly. Think about if you have large profits right now, Maybe scale back a little bit. Raise cash. Did you notice the U.S. dollar last week? Hammered. Multi-year lows. 
What does that mean? You want to start looking at gold, gold stocks, silver. Silver up huge last week. This is the market sending you signals. Get ready. It's not time to short yet or to be net short. You can always throw in a hedge. But I think after the first of the new year, all bets are off. Path of least resistance is going to change and change like that. Everybody have a great remainder of your weekend. Don't forget, join us tomorrow night, 6 p.m. for Sunday Night Futures Live, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Link below to get alerted 15 minutes prior to us going live. And smash that like button, leave a comment, and what else? Subscribe. Take care, folks. Be well.